So here it is. This is the Shimano OSHA Jigger, and this is an absolutely fantastic little reel. This is a 1500 version, and um, this really wasn't available in the United States up until recently. It was basically exclusively available in Japan. So I have used this reel a number of times in the past, even though this particular one is brand new for me. It doesn't even have line on it. I've used this for big black drum fishing. <sighs> I've used this for tag and I've used this for tile fishing, even 900 feet slow pitch jigging. And this reel is absolutely fantastic. Handle those fish with absolutely no problem with 80 gram jig. So one of the more important features of this slow pitch jigging reel right here is this thing comes in at 14.3 ounces. And this is super important when you're out there jigging all day, maybe 16 to 24 hour trip. And you're just, you know, constantly working your jigs. You get fatigued quite often. Everybody loves jig fishing until they realize how exhausting it is and then of course they don't so this reel and the weight of this reel will prevent that fatigue and will allow you to catch more fish and that weight really drew me to the 1500 model versus the 21 ounces of the 2000 model so this thing will come with 15 pounds of drag which is more than enough for most inshore or offshore fishing applications and this thing comes with a carbon fiber drag stack system that just makes it super powerful and super smooth Take a listen to that reel right there. Can't hear anything, and this thing is just Shimano smooth, right? There's smooth reels, and then there's Shimano smooth reels, and this thing is really quite an engineering feat. Now, talking about the drag system on this reel, a lot of people will say, well, you know, 15 pounds, that's not all that much, especially for offshore fishing, and I can tell you 15 pounds of drag combined with the components of this reel make this thing an absolute beast. A precautionary thing I tell fish lots everywhere is just don't pay attention to the number of drag on the side of the reel because it really doesn't matter. You need to pay attention to what the reel was manufactured for and you can tell by the components of this reel, the star drag, the handle, the base, the gears, everything about it that this thing was meant for big fishing. By comparison, let's take a look at this 3000 Daiwa Fuego. This thing is rated for over 20 pounds of drag, but take a look at the parts of the reel. Take a look at this handle right here, not even close to handling 22 pounds of drag. And the biggest complaint about Daiwa Fuego is that this component right here that attaches basically the reel to your rod and the base to your reel itself will actually bend and break under a lot of pressure. Here's another example is the Sharky 3 right here. And the Sharky 3 is very similar to the Fuego. It's over 20 pounds of drag, but just the internal components of this reel just aren't meant for big, big fish. I mean, it's great for what they were designed for, but I'm just saying for 15 pounds, of drag on an OSHA jigger meant for things like deep sea tile fishing, tuna, you know, these much bigger fish with much heavier applications of fishing. These type of reels, even with heavier drag, just won't be able to match up. Now, one of my favorite components of this reel, which I really got drawn to it as well, is the fact that this has auto engage for your spool, right? So you click the lever down and you free up the spool. So this is where you'd be casting or you'd just be deep dropping for slow pitch jigging or fast pitch jigging. And then instead of having to match manually click this back up. You simply turn the handle and it auto engages. This is a feature that is not readily available in a lot of slow pitch jigging reels. It's just not, I'm, I'm not quite sure why, but it reminds me a lot of the Maxell hybrid uh, review I did. Check that out, I'll leave it in the description below, but that had a thumb bar where you could then re-engage or auto engage the reel just by turning the handle. And that's a feature that I really, really like. Trust me, the Maxell hybrid does not compare to the OSHA jigger, not even a little bit in terms of the quality of the reel but that feature is really, really nice to have and it really makes fishing that much more enjoyable because you're always in contact with your jig. So if I'm jigging this and on the way down a fish hits it, I don't have to manually do anything to re-engage to catch up with the fish. I simply turn the handle and start fighting the fish and the reel will auto-engage. Another great feature I love about this reel is this right here. A lot of you fish lots out there might think this is a clicker. 
and it sounds like a clicker, but really what this is, is a spool lock. So what this will do is this will lock the spool if you get hung up into a wreck or a snag on the bottom, and it disengages the spool from the main gears of your reel. So if you really want to lock this thing down to put some torque to free your lure or your jig or whatever it is that you're fishing for, you will not damage the internal components of this fishing reel. It's a really awesome feature from Shimano and avoiding damage to your main gear while just locking this thing down to put as much torque as possible to rip your jig out of a snag or whatever is really advantageous. And trust me, if, if you're jig fishing or you're bottom fishing in any means, you know you're going to get snagged, you know you're going to get hung up, and that's just a really awesome feature. So again, this is just a star drag system on the OSHA jigger. You could hear it right there. And for 15 pounds of drag and the internal components of this reel being as tough as they are, this thing in terms of star drag really matches up to the Shimano Talica, which I absolutely love and adore and I use all the time for big fish fishing. And that's this bad boy right here. This is the Talica and I absolutely love this reel. It's actually connected to my tuna rod. And of course, this is a lever drag system. But in terms of star drag, this thing really does pack a punch. And the fact that Shimano made this small of a version and this compact of a version of a star drag reel that could compare to the Shimano Talica is really, really quite impressive. So this thing has just got awesomeness written all over it, in all honesty. The other thing I really like I want to point out is this handle. You can tell this is a rubber knob right here and a T-frame for the handle, and this is just super awesome. For those of you that have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I really like the EV foam handles, but this thing is really a won me over. It's just super comfy. You could grab this at a lot of different angles and you get a lot of torque with this reel right here. And this reel handle is so long that there's no need to modify or custom make a rod handle to this reel. And that's really something that a lot of experienced fish lots out there will do. They'll get a slow pitch jigging reel and they'll make modifications to the handle right here to suit their needs. Now, if you are in the market for the Shimano OSHA jigger, there's a couple of things I would recommend you consider and the version that you're looking for. Now, there's the 1500, the 2000, and the 4000 style reels. They each come with their own benefits and their own disadvantages. This reel right here, given 40 pounds of test line, will hold 300 yards of line. That is a ton of line for such a little compact reel. Another consideration you should really have is line retrieval. Okay, now this reel you're going to find comes in a PG and HG styles. Many of will say an R on them. That just means narrow, but PG and HD are really what you want to be looking for. PG stands for power gear and HG stands for high gear. So power gear will come with lower line per turn that you're able to retrieve per turn, whereas high gear, you're going to get a lot more line per turn of your reel handle. And that's really important when it comes to jigging because you always want to be able to make up line and be in contact with your lure. Now, there are no rules to fishing. However, a general theory or a general rule of thumb is with a slow pitch jigging reel, you'll want about 30 36 inches retrieval per turn of the reel handle. And so the HG on the 1500 will actually come in at 39 inches per turn of the rod. So that's good. And that's what this one is. And I'm fine with that. But with the 2000, you get a little bit extra, right? You'll actually get 41 or 42 inches per turn of the reel handle. And that would just make up that much extra line. Now that comes with the cost and the weight, but it comes with a lot faster reel retrieval. Now the PG is going to come with much slower line retrieval. And for, for a PG 1500, now you're talking about 31 inches of line retrieval per turn of the handle. And that's actually below that general rule of thumb of 36 inches of line retrieval. So just keep that in mind. The PG was really meant for torque. That's if you're fishing some pretty shallow water for some pretty big fish. So if I'm fishing big black drum, you know, 80 pound black drum and 30 feet of water, which I do quite often, honestly, you know, that PG model may be something you want to look at. Now I fish with this thing in all sorts of different fishing applications. So the more line retrieve for me is advantageous. So I go with the 1500 for the weight and the HG for the line retrieval. All right. Now, just like anything with fishing with Johnny Fish a lot, I want to give you the good, the bad and the ugly. And so one of the negative features about this reel is actually the same thing that drew me to it that I love so much about it. And that is the auto engage, right? Shimano did too good of a job of making this just too smooth. So what 
what'll happen is if you click this down, right, and you want to make a cast, the problem is that when you go to cast, this reel may come up or the handle may come up and auto engage the spool. And what that means is, is that when you're casting it and this thing engages, the lure, jig, whatever you're fishing with is basically going to come right back at your face or right at your buddy's face. And hooking humans in the face when you're fishing is a recipe for a pretty bad day out on the water. So take a look. I'll try to do it. You click it and you go to cast and it might engage just like that. You see, I didn't have to put too much torque behind it and engage. The other big disadvantage of this reel is the price point. So depending where you buy it, this thing in the United States will cost you 530 bucks all the way up to 570 bucks. And that is just a huge, huge investment for a fishing reel. But fish a lot. So I also have a solution for you on the price point, which is exactly how I got this reel. And that is by ordering it from one of the most amazing fishing supplies companies that I've ever had the pleasure of dealing with and if you want to know exactly how to get it and exactly how to get it discounted each and every time you order these awesome Japanese fishing reels go ahead and click on this end card right here while I show you the tips and tricks on how to save a ton of money on these fishing reels.